so freaking hot in here, I have to try. Like I say in every single video that I make, I apologize for missing so many weeks, but I got sick again, and so I just have been having a really tough last few weeks, so I have a lot to tell you guys. So let's just jump right into the video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This week's video is going to be my 34 to 30 five week update. At 35 weeks, the baby is the size of a pineapple. That's insane. It's about 18 inches and five pounds. My brain is complete trash. I can't remember anything. I get frustrated really fast. My moods are going all over the place, of course, because I'm nesting and about to have a baby and nervous about having the baby and nervous about everything. And then also on top of that, my hormones are going crazy because I'm getting ready to breastfeed and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, my brain is just absolute trash. I cannot remember a single thing. I cry at the sound of a pin dropping, anything. Anything makes me cry. I think like last week something, I couldn't tie my shoe or something or I was like really upset because I couldn't bend down to get to put my shoe on my foot and I literally cried about it. The veins in my chest are like so prominent right now and on my stomach they're like really blue. I just look like a freaking alien or something if I take my shirt off. My heartburn has kind of chilled out. Thank God because I was getting really upset honestly like the heartburn was really killing me and it was making me not want to eat at night and I would I like it would be I would know I would eat because I knew it was time to eat not because I was hungry or I just wouldn't eat and like that sounds bad but I just really couldn't because anything I ate just was giving me heartburn I'm not getting I'm getting really full really easily and I think it's just because I mean there's a baby inside of my stomach so not my literal stomach but inside of me so I think that it's just my stomach is probably cramped up in there because whenever you're pregnant you know your uterus just gets bigger bigger and bigger so your organs have to go somewhere else so I'm sure my stomach is probably like really smushed so sometimes like towards the end of the night or around dinner time I'll just be like so full from all of the things that I <laughs> ate during the day that I won't even want to eat dinner and I'll just feel weird I feel kind of bad for Dakari because last time in my pregnancy with Kaya I was like super adventurous with food at this point in my pregnancy I like loved eating really really good food I liked eating like a lot of junk food and a lot of fast food and that is like Dakari's place in life like he just loves fried food, fast food. So I feel bad for Dakari because we're not just like slamming on great food this whole pregnancy. So I'm getting a lot of pressure in my groin, like on the bottom of my stomach. I'm getting so swollen in my face and my neck and I can feel it. I'm feeling it in my arms and my legs and my butt. I am literally out of breath all the time. I'm sure you guys can tell in this video that I, I can't even like breathe. And half of it is because like my nose is clogged up right now. It's not like I can breathe out of my nose, but I can feel like the congestion is still kind of there. And I also told you guys at the beginning of my pregnancy that I was having like really bad congestion problems my whole pregnancy. This, this whole time my nose has been like runny and I don't know why. I haven't had any dreams and I'm so sad. Not being pregnant, I have a lot of dreams and like really in-depth dreams that I think that I should be like writing down. I am pretty uncomfortable when I'm sleeping, you know. My stomach's getting big, I can't really roll over the way I want to. And if I do have to roll from one side to the other just because I'm tired of laying on that side, it's like a whole ordeal. It just wakes me up because I have to turn over so then I'm like up for like 10-15 minutes before I can actually fall back asleep. I am getting so tired during the day almost like the first trimester which is honestly why another reason I haven't really been filming my videos and if you guys can see like in this mirror my Christmas stuff is still up so like don't judge me it's January I don't even know it's like January 11th and I my Christmas stuff is still up a weird symptom that I've been having is my teeth have been um, like my teeth have been hurting like 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 they're sore I get regular dentist checkups so I know that my teeth are fine I know that I don't have like any cavities or anything because my teeth aren't hurting that way it's just like there's just like pressure in my mouth or something I haven't felt any hiccups I'm so upset hiccups with Kaya was my favorite thing in the entire world but hiccups are the cutest thing in the entire world just to know like oh my little baby it just it just makes them more of a human 
I think I appreciate it more now because it's my second pregnancy, but with Kaya, I didn't know what having a, a baby would be like. And I, I didn't really like associate me and my stomach growing and her getting bigger and feeling kicks and stuff like that. I didn't associate it with a baby. I feel like it sounds so dumb like when I'm saying this, but it, it's really like you just don't think that you're gonna, you just don't think about like I'm having a baby and I'm gonna have a human and this is a person inside of me. They're gonna have a personality, they're gonna look a certain way. All the things that Kaya has become now that she's outside of my stomach make me appreciate what's going on inside of my stomach even more. So like now when I feel Zayna kick, it's like I, I know like, ooh, that's a little foot, like how cute. I'm gonna be able to touch your little feet. It's just you appreciate that there's a real baby inside of your stomach a lot more the second time around. Our baby shower is this weekend and I'm super excited for it. I'm super excited to see all my friends. We're calling it a diaper party because all we need is diapers. We don't need anything else. We have so many clothes, so many, um, so many clothes all the big stuff we have it's gonna be really fun i'm doing like a floral theme like kind of like pink um like light pink and gold and like floral like i don't know if that even makes sense and it's like so stressful honestly throwing a party this late in pregnancy because i'm like so tired and i'm gonna make the cake for the party and the cupcakes um pretty much all the sweets i'm gonna make myself and then uh, i wanted to like make all the other stuff like all the sides of food all the food I'm doing myself so that's like really stressful because I have to buy all the food and then I have to make it and it's already Monday and the party's on Saturday so I'm like freaking out I still haven't gotten any of the decor or anything I haven't gotten anything honestly you guys I'm like I'm so lazy And after the baby shower, it's kind of like after that point, it's like game on. Like I'm just waiting to have this baby. I'm, I had Kaya early, so I'm just hoping I have this baby early too so that their, their birthdays are farther apart. I feel so bad because I think we're probably not even going to be able to do anything for Kaya's second birthday. And although she won't remember it, it's like you still want to do I mean we'll do something for her like we'll probably have like a little dinner with my parents but it kind of just sucks that you can't go like all out for her because I just had a baby so I'm really hoping that um their birthdays end up being like at least a week apart but if not it's okay but I do really hope that and I my doctors told me that I can be induced um multiple times she's told me since we figured out the due date but I just don't want to be induced right after we have the shower I'm literally on get this house ready duty so i'll be packing my bags to go to the hospital and i'll do a hospital bag video and i'll probably do it with dakari so that dakari can tell you guys what he's packing in his bag as well so i'll have the diaper bag and my bag that i'm taking to the hospital so i'll show you guys all the stuff that i pack in that and do a whole video on it i'll also probably do a newborn must-haves i want to get her and kaya like matching outfits for when she comes and they meet and we leave to go to home from the hospital. So I'll show that to you guys. My mother-in-law might be coming to stay with us for a while. So that would be like, you guys, the biggest blessing in the entire world. <laughs> oh my God. So that I could just like really breathe and and also be able to be with Kaya and have, not have Kaya feel like she's just like not getting any attention because all I'm doing is paying attention to the baby. But Dakari will get um, a, a while off from work as well um, whenever the baby comes because he can work from home on a computer. So that's nice too. So I have to set up a little room for her. Uh, and yeah, so I have a lot of crap that I really need to do. I'm going to do like a countdown to Zayna. So I'll just vlog every single day until I go into labor. But I just thought about it like if I go into labor earlier than 37 weeks then like or if I go to labor at before 39 weeks then that would even happen so maybe like 37 week 37 and week 38 I'll just make a vlog of like the whole week and what I'm doing all week long preparing for the baby and all that kind of stuff and then if I get to 39 weeks I'll do a countdown to Zayna where it's I'm vlogging and posting every single day what I'm doing just waiting for the baby to come 
Um, so yeah, so I've got some fun, exciting videos to come ahead. I'm just ready, ready for Kaya to meet her little sister. It's gonna be so freaking cute to see them together. I can't wait to see what kind of big sister Kaya is. She loves helping me. Like, Aubrey, if I say, do you wanna help mommy? She like is so happy. So I know that she'll love helping out with the baby. Obviously she's also still a baby, so she won't be able to help out that much, but it'll still be really cute to see her with her. I'm gonna get up and show you guys my stomach. So this is my belly at 35 weeks pregnant to the day. I don't, like I said, I don't think she's dropped because whenever the baby drops, it's not so much up here. Like my stomach would almost like cave in right here and then she would be down here. So my stomach is a little bit more flat down here um, and I can feel like that her body is up here. So, yep, that's what I look like, 35 weeks pregnant, big mama. I think that's all I have to talk about this week. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. That lets me know that you liked it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. That helps my channel out immensely. So um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys next time.